President Joe Biden is expected to sign an executive order this week around Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of people freaking out about this, but before you lose your mind, let's make sure we understand exactly what is expected to happen. If we go ahead and we take a look, what we can see is that there's an article from Bloomberg that describes the order will direct federal agencies to examine potential regulatory changes, as well as the national security and economic impact of digital assets, said the people who asked not to be named discussing these deliberations. If we then look at the actual directives inside of this order, we expect that it will direct the Treasury, the State Department, and the Attorney General to study CBDCs, or central bank digital currencies. It will ask the FSOC to study financial stability of crypto. It will also ask people to look at digital asset impact and market competition, and it will direct the SEC and the CFTC to look at market protection as well. Now, of course, people are freaking out about this, but if we look at the expectation or the impact on crypto, what we can see is these three things, where crypto's role is a challenge to national security. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that is one expectation. That it's a threat to the dominance of the dollar. Again, I do not agree with that, but that is one of the expectations. And lastly, that it adds difficulty in stopping criminal activity, which again, I don't agree with, but that is an expectation of what many people think the reports will actually come forward with. We then have this quote here, which shows that Him Das, the acting director of Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, said, although we have not seen widespread evasion of our sanctions using methods such as cryptocurrency, prompt reporting of suspicious activity contributes to our national security and our efforts to support Ukraine and its people. Now, of course, as more and more people start to freak out about this executive order, you have to remember two important things. One, it simply asks very organizations across the government to do studies, to go and look, do your work, do your research, figure out what is Bitcoin, what are cryptocurrencies, what are their impact on markets, regulations, and other aspects that the government cares about. That isn't a good or a bad thing. It's simply asking them to go gather more information and understand what the impact is. And then second, is regardless of what these reports actually come out and show, what we have to remember is that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are actually a good thing for the world. They don't threaten the dollar's dominance. They actually strengthen the dollar's dominance. They don't help criminals. They actually help law enforcement catch the criminals who decide to use an open, transparent, immutable ledger to commit crimes. Over and over and over again, we've seen critiques and criticisms from various people around the world on these technologies. But over and over and over again, we continue to educate people. We continue to simply present the facts of what's going on in the industry, how the technology works, and what the market participants are doing with these technologies. And what continues to happen is we strike down criticism after criticism after criticism. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are good for business. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies give power to people. It's the most American technology in the world right now. It's all about sovereignty. It's all about individual responsibility. It's all about personal freedom and free speech. There's nothing more American than that. And what I hope happens is that the various organizations within the U.S. government not only come back and highlight all of those different details, but also they put forward recommendations that the United States must jump in the game. We have to be the leader in this new technology. It leads to innovation, economic prosperity, and economic benefit. If anyone's going to benefit from these technologies, I hope it's the United States. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.